Start your habit of continuous learning today. Visit nomadphp.com. Welcome to another Nomad PHP Lightning Talk. I'm Joe Ferguson. Nomad PHP Lightning Talks are 10-minute talks that give a high-level overview or an in-depth look at a small portion of a PHP-related topic. Lightning Talks are a great way for new speakers to build their speaking resume and for longtime speakers to test drive new talk ideas. If you'd like to give a 10-minute Lightning Talk, please email me, joe at nomadphp.com. Right now we have Frank Vanderherten, and he's taking uh, some time out of his very busy schedule of releasing packages on the Spady GitHub to talk to us about a practical introduction to snapshot testing. Uh, Frank, take it away. Uh, hello, uh, everybody, and welcome to this talk on uh, snapshot testing. We made a package for snapshot testing a little while ago, and in this talk I'd like to present it to you. So. I'm uh, Freek van der Herten. I'm a partner and a developer at a company called Spazi. Uh, like many of you, uh, I'm active on Twitter. My handle is Freek Murze, and I have a blog, uh, murze.be, where I talk about uh, PHP development and Laravel development. Uh, I'm also the organizer of our local user group in Antwerp, together with Dries and Frederik. If you're ever in the vicinity of Antwerp and want to give a talk, just contact us. We're looking for speakers of any level. Um, my company, Spasi, has been around since 2003. We create websites, applications, and webshops. Our team consists of four developers and one manager, so we're quite small. And our specialization is Laravel development. Now, before I head into uh, snapshot testing, I want to say a few words on open source software first. Because in our company, we use a lot of open source software, like PHP, like Laravel, like Ubuntu Composer, and hundreds of other things, um, we are very grateful for, for open source software, and we want to give some back too. So, uh, we've now created 120 packages on uh, packages. Uh, most of them are Laravel packages, but we do have a fair share of framework agnostic PHP packages as well. They are being uh, downloaded now for 500,000 times a month, and the total is more than 4 million right now. And even though that we're a company with only two backend developers, we managed to get the number four spot on the top PHP GitHub developers worldwide list uh, right under the excellent PHP League. So with that out of the way, let's talk about snapshot testing. Okay, so what is snapshot uh, testing? It's actually a very uh, simple uh, concept. You just write the output of your test to a file on disk and let's call that file a snapshot. And the next time you run your test, you're just going to compare the output of your test with the contents of that snapshot. And if that succeeds, if, it's, 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 if, it, uh, if the contents is the same, then the test succeeds, and if the contents is not the same, the test will fail. It's very, very simple. Um, now, where does snapshot testing come from? It actually has a as an older name, characterization testing, and uh, I googled a bit around and I found the first reference to it uh, in in 2000. Uh, but the, this kind of testing is popularized by Facebook, and they call it snapshot testing. It's built into their um, to their test uh, runner called Chest. And they use it to test interfaces. And with interfaces, I don't mean the, the PHP interface. I mean like graphical interfaces, uh, blocks of HTML. So they have like um, uh, a very popular JavaScript uh, framework called React, and it's component-based. Those components, they render to HTML, and they want to see if those components render the right HTML. But it's very bothersome to just uh, create a stub file yourself and type in all the HTML you expect. So they made a tool to, uh, uh, to generate those snapshots for you. And it's very easy to work with in JavaScript, but there wasn't really um, uh, uh, an alternative in the PHP world, so we created that. We created a package called PHP Unit Snapshot Assertions, 
and it adds three methods to a PHP unit. Uh, assert matches snapshot for yeah, general snapshotting, and there is also a JSON and an XML variant. Now, I can talk a lot about it, but maybe it's best if I uh, show it to you so you can get a little bit of a feel to it. So, let's take a look at the package on, uh, on GitHub. Um, so here we have a few um, examples of what, what it uh, can do. And yeah, there is a very clear readme with, uh, with all, the, all the features. But let's go into PHP Storm into a little project that I've made. So here we are in another uh, package that I've made called Laravel Snapshot, uh, called uh, Laravel Sitemap. And what uh, Laravel sitemap can do, it can uh, automatically generate uh, sitemaps. And um, I've created this package uh, a while ago, I think uh, like a year or maybe two years ago. And I was still in the habit of just uh, doing uh, the testing manually for uh, those XMLs. So you can see here that we have a test and we are going to create a sitemap, add a few URLs to it, and then we're going to assert that the rendered version of the sitemap is equal to the contents of a stub called multiple URLs here. Um, now, those sitemap stubs, they are here. They just contain the rendered sitemap. And I yeah, uh, created these stubs myself, so it was a little bit of, of manual work. Let's see how snapshot testing can improve this. So the first thing we need to do is to require the package. Require spacy PHP unit snapshot assertions. And then if the internet gods are happy, it will be pulled in into the project. Let's go uh, back to the test while it's installing. So we have it now in our project. Now to use the snapshot testing, all you need to do is pull in one little trait. Uh, use, uh, where is it? Snapshot trait. I think. Ah, okay, it was just PHP Storm acting up. I'll do this bit a little uh, again so you can uh, edit that out. So now that the package is installed, we can um, apply the trait matches snapshots. Let me import that, that namespace here. And now we can go back to the test. Uh, multiple URLs can be added to the test map, and I can just remove this. And I'm going to use our uh, snapshot assertion uh, uh, assertion certain XML snapshot. So here we are going to pass the rendered sitemap. And let's see what happens if we just perform this test. We are getting an I here. That's an incomplete test. So the first time you run a test that uses a snapshot package, uh, uses a snapshot met method, it will create the snapshot for you. So if I go back here in uh, the tree here, you can see here that the package created a snapshot um, directory, and within that, it contains that snapshot. So the next time I'm going to execute the test, then the test is back to green. So that's how snapshots work. And if the output is not uh, what ex what's expected, so I'm going to change the uh, output of the test here, then you can see that the, the test fails. You can see here that's, uh, that the contents of the snapshot does not match the uh, output of the rendered sitemap. So, but imagine that the uh, modified content is actually the right one, then we can update that snapshot automatically. So here we have a, a, a hint that the package gives what you need to do if you want to update the snapshot. So let's do that now. Oh, 
I got a little code here on the back. Let's do that again. So you can see that it updated the snapshot, but it's still marked as incomplete. And if I um, run it again, then it should be back to green. And that's really all there is uh, to snapshot testing. But you can see that the real value is in that you can um, very easily create new snapshots. So you, um, you don't have to do all this work uh, yourself. So that's in a nutshell what snapshot testing is all about. So what are the advantages in my mind of snapshot testing? It's very easy uh, to get started with. Um, it's just pulling in uh, a package and uh, just using, using the trait. And it can be used to validate complex output, like if you have uh, yeah, the, a sitemap or a response uh, that's uh, a server response, a JSON response that you want to want to verify, you can easily update all the tests in the, in one go. Now there are a few disadvantages to snapshot testing as well. They're a little bit brittle because if the uh, output of your test um, changes only a, a little bit, then your test, uh, your test will fail. It's sometimes hard to pinpoint the exact point of failure because if the output um, is changed in a piece of code where you didn't expect there, there was a change, then you, you won't uh, easily find the, the bug. And also, uh, bugs can be very easily written into the snapshots. Um, if um, you think the, the output is okay, but it's actually wrong, and you update the snapshots, then you have a, a wrong snapshot. So that's a, that's a risk there as well. Um, if you want to know more about snapshot testing, is to uh, the uh, patch on is a blog post my colleague uh, Sebastian wrote about the package. He's actually also the author of the, uh, the package. Uh, the third link is a link to my own blog where I recorded uh, a little video where I go through um, um, uh, using our snapshot package in uh, another package where I update the test. The fourth link is uh, uh, excellent blog post on the, on SidePoint uh, where there's more information uh, about snapshot testing, about the history and, and a few uh, nice uh, use cases. And if you want to know where we got our inspiration uh, from, just head over to uh, to the Jest uh, documentation. Um, it contains um, a good description of why Facebook started with snapshot testing. So thank you for your attention. If you want to see the slides again, I've uploaded, uh, uploaded them to speaker deck. If you want to see uh, what we have done in the open source space, head over to our company website. And if you're interested in reading about modern PHP development in Laravel, head over to my blog. So are there any questions? Nope, no questions that I can see. Uh, thanks for joining us for another Nomad PHP Lightning Talk. If you'd like to give a Lightning Talk, please email me, joe at nomadphp.com.